In April and May 2003, along with a friend and colleague, Ed Woolley Army from The Observer, we traced the route that the American military took through Iraq, through Nazaria, Najaf, Hilla, and into Baghdad. And we wanted to know what the human cost of the war was. There wasn't very much being played out on the, on the TV screens, and there wasn't very much being done by embedded journalists. Uh, that's not to blame them, they couldn't exactly stop and check what was being done as they drove through. And just an interesting aside to all this, um, when we were able to check figures uh, in hospitals and cemeteries, we found that between 95 and 97.5 percent of those casualties were indeed civilian. In Nazaria, we met these two people, these are the remnants of a family of 14, who'd been having lunch, and Kadem Hashem had gone outside at 1.15 in the afternoon and felt heat going over him, and his house was destroyed. He went back into the rubble, and the only person he was able to rescue was his daughter, Bedua. As you can see, she was badly burnt, but she was also in a fit of deep, deep depression. And I remember looking through my lens at her and thinking, this woman is living dead. She was 18 years old, and her life was over. After that trip, I went back to Great Britain, and I returned to Iraq in, uh, in August. And I was sitting by the pool at the Hamra, which many of the journalists here know, um, and I saw Marla. And she came across to me, and I'd known Marla from, from Afghanistan when she, when she first turned up there. And she asked me if I recognized somebody over at the other side of the pool. And she said, that young girl over at the other side of the pool, do you know her? I said, no. And Marla said, she says that you photographed her with her father in Nazaria, in May. And then it came back to me, and I looked across the pool again, and there she was, this young woman with a big smile on her face and an ice cream in her hand. <laughs> and she'd fallen into Marla's embrace. Um, Marla had organized three or four very serious operations for her, operations that the US military were not going to do for her, operations that the local health service was incapable of doing, and she brought her back to life. And I think that's what Marla was all about. Thank you.